Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be a new blood sugar makeup tutorial. I'm going to be doing my eye makeup today using the entire first row of this palette, which are the browns and golds. And it made this super cute little eye look. And yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Before we get started though, I do want to mention I put a video out every single freaking day. So if you hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. All right, now let's go. Hey guys, so um, base face is done. Now I'm going to prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next, I'm digging into our blood sugar palette. I'm not over this thing yet. It's still stunning to me every time I open it. Like, if I can ever get it's hard to open. Ah! Stunning. It's gorgeous. I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to take the white color of glucose and I'm just going to blend it underneath of my eyebrow because I am trying to have a really good blend today, you guys. This will give like a nice base for that area. Okay, now that we have a little bit of a base going on, I'm going to dip into the color of sugar cane and pack that over my crease. We're going to build up slowly on this look because... I don't usually play around with browns too often, so I want to be kind of careful and not mess this up too bad. Now that we have a little bit of a base going on, I'm going to start dipping into some real colors now. I'm going to dip into Cake Mix, cake mix and darker this outer corner. Now, if you wonder why I'm using the same brush for all this, because it's very fluffy and this is going to be very blended out and, you know, not super precise for this first base of eyeshadows. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go on to a smaller brush, a little crease brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to take it on the color of Ouch, which is like a warm brown more of a honey brown and I'm going to stick that right in my crease right where I would separate my lid if I was doing a cut crease this is like a small blending type brush so it's really precise and just digs in there I'm gonna go back into that cake mix color now and use the same brush and just blend above it and just kind of make it all blend together. I want this to be carved out a little bit, but I also want the other colors to mesh with it so it doesn't look super harsh. Okay. Mm, okay. Now I'm going to take a small flat brush, a little fluffy flat brush, and I'm going to dip into the color of Ouch again with a little bit of intravenous you guys tell me how to say it last time and i forgot i'm gonna pack this on the outer corner and then the inner corner and leave a little bit of the center eye open so i'm packing this on the lid we're not blending too high up on this on inner and outside corners now go back to your darker i mean your bigger fluff brush dip it into that color of ouch which we cut with and blend that Really, you can do anything you want with your eyeshadow as long as you blend it, right? Now that we have a little bit of a missing eyeball patch on both eyeballs, I'm going to take the brush we did for both sides and I'm going to wet it with some setting spray. If you have Fix Plus or just a regular setting spray, that will work. I'm going to spray both sides and I'm going to dip into the color of Donor, which is the brown gold shimmer. I'm gonna pack that on the brush on both sides. Ooh, that's a coat. And I'm gonna pack it in the center of the eye. That's pretty. Okay, so we have our center all bright and pretty. I'm going to clean off that brush now. Do you guys have one of these things? 
they have them everywhere. And I'm just gonna darken the darker outside edges again, just to make it look pretty. Now I have a whole bunch of fallout underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna brush that away. And I'm gonna do the underlining now. So I gotta find an underlining brush. I'm just gonna use this big angled one and I'm going to take the colors of Cake Mix and Ouch and just blend it underneath the eyes. I'm going to move on now to mascara, top and bottom, of course. Okay, mascara is done. Now I am going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Overboard Gel Liner by Colourpop. It's like a metallic -y brown. Yay! I'm going to apply my lashes now. I'm using the Allure London X Jasmine Brown Lashes. And I'm also just going to take a little bit of my ice cold highlighter and put it in the inner corners of my eyes while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX Epic Ink Liner and fill in where the lash stops. Yay! Now I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I think the eyes came out super pretty. I love the little bit of gold. And then the colors we mixed in over the crease give like a little bit of a warmth to it, like a little bit of a pink which kind of matched my stained eyelid. I think it's super pretty. What do you guys think? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me, I put a video on every single freaking day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.